I saw my stepmom's Reddit account and found out that she hates me and my siblings. I'm really pissed off and want to vent I even cried reading the things she said and I don't know what to do, I don't need any advice, I just want to vent. My father has been married to my stepmother for five years, he has been divorced from my mother since my younger brother was two years old, there is no beef between them and they have a great co-parenting. I have a 17-year-old sister, a 16-year-old brother and I'm 25. Then my father has a three-year-old son with my stepmother. I found her Reddit account in a pretty random way. Since I'm only home on the weekends I let her use my computer, she forgot to close her email because I was able to come home during the week. She doesn't post too much, but she comments too much, I was honestly going to close the email, but it caught my attention that all the replies were from an step-parent subreddit so curiosity won me over, I know, I know, it's not a good thing to do and curiosity killed the cat. The first thing I saw was her last post in which she detailed things about my life in a random reddit sub, criticizing my decisions and even lying to get people to support her. She has posts on that site talking about how happy she feels when my siblings are not at home, my sister adores her, but she has comments talking about how she can't wait for them to turn 18 and leave the house because she just wants to share the house with her family, my father and her toddler. It seems that she doesn't seize us as her family. She has a lot of comments answering other people that it's totally okay to not love your stepchildren because they're not family and it's okay not to consider them one. She has comments talking about how much it bothers her when my dad and brother have sleepovers. They just watch a series in the playroom and then go to sleep. As she is tired of hearing the laughter of a teenager and can't wait until we all leave the house so my father can be with his real family. But what she hates the most is having to learn sign language for my little sister. It had always seemed strange to me that SM still struggles with sign language, but now I know that she never really put in the effort to learn. My sister always said that for many people sign language is very difficult so I never said anything. But now I know that she always found stupid to learn how to communicate with my sister when my sister always tried to help her. I was too surprised by the hatred she has when my father spends time with me and my sister. Her jealousy towards us is so obvious that it disgusts me that there were so many people who told her how they feel the same way about their stepdaughters. To the point of sexualizing things as saying too much disgusting things that I don't even want to say here. My siblings are not problem children, they even love her very much and what fills me with anger the most is that she is so false in front of us. Do you know the number of times I offered to babysit my half-brother so she and my dad can go on a date? All those times she refused to let me take care of him but now I saw comments that she left about how I am living at my father's house and I don't help her at all, only for other people to respond saying that she should give my father an ultimatum to make me leave because I'm too old to live with him and he as a new family. I cook my food, do my laundry, I help my father pay the bills while she doesn't, and normally only come home on the weekends because I'm doing a police academy almost full week, I don't even care if I'm making too obvious who I am. It was my father who told me to move back with him so that when I come back from the academy on Friday nights it will be a shorter trip. She sexualizes my interactions with my father saying that it is not normal for me to sleep a nap hugging him and that I should know my place, he is my father, what the hell wrong with her, I'm so disgusted I have the comments, I have the post. I have even comments form years ago and I will use them, I don't care. Comments. This, show your father what she really thinks of you all, because once you're all eventually out and she gets her wish she's going to work double time to keep it that way and isolate him. Update 1. I can't tell anyone what happened because I'll basically be locked up in the academy until Friday morning. In fact, I shouldn't even be using my cell phone now. Someone with too much free time shared the situation in that sub of stepparents to warn my stepmom. I have screenshots of everything including a video showing that it is her email and showing the comments. If she sees that post, what will she do? Delete the account? I already have the proofs. I'm going to post again in that sub when I talk about everything with my family, so I hope Redditors know how to keep the secret of the post for now. I know they won't. Being a stepmom is hard, yes. One thing is feeling that you're having a hard time and another totally different thing is making a post, saying that you hate it when your stepdaughter is around her father, because you think she's going to FMTF. It is not the same to say, being a step-parent is stressful, than to say, honestly learning SL is unnecessary because, when the girl turns 18 I will not see her again, it is a waste of time since she can read lips. Also some people complained about me hugging my dad, I also take a nap hugging my mother or my siblings, I'm sorry for having a family that loves me and are not perverts who see a hug as something sexual. Update 2. I talked with my siblings and my mom. Hi, for now I'm going to post this little update here since I haven't spoken to my father yet but I spoke with my siblings and mom. I told my dad that I was staying at a friend's house when I left the academy, but I actually went to my mom's house and told her everything, she doesn't even know what Reddit is. That site isn't used too much here, but I translated the comments and posts for her, I showed her the videos and my mom was furious. I explained to her that in the comments, BM, it's Madre Biologica, I was confused about it too the first time I read that, also with SM, so my SM also made comments and posts complaining about my mother being that they have always had a cordial treatment. But still my SM was lying saying that my mother was troublesome. No one in the comments said anything, everyone supported her and they recommended that she should move far away with her legal family, far away from the problematic BM and kids. 
First we told my brother who was also upset and said that she was a fake but that he has seen her ignore my sister and pretend that she does not see or hear her a lot of times. He explained that like me it also seems strange to him that SM has not yet learned sign language. My siblings spend a lot of time at my father's house, just like English or Spanish, sign language is much easier to learn if you live with someone who uses it every day, therefore it is strange that SM doesn't use it. He said that even my father has offered to pay for her classes but she says she doesn't have time. We asked him if he noticed any other behavior of that kind and he said that SM doesn't let him take care of our younger brother, which she also does with me but curiously she does let our sister take care of him so I don't understand that. Other than that, she's never treated him badly or anything like that. At the time of telling my sister she was the most hurt, she cried especially because of SM's comments towards me calling me a whore. It's kind of ironic how the comments towards her affected me and the comments towards me affect her. Something that my sister noticed that I didn't is that almost all of SM's comments are criticizing me. My sister and even my mother but of my brother she has only criticized sleepovers or when he comes back late from being with his friends. But she has criticized my and my sister clothes, made up things about my life, confessed that she hates it when we hug our father, she said we're too clingy, she talked badly about my mother, etc. My sister said it's sexist and maybe she's got some mental problem. My sister said she always believed SM didn't really hear her and she maybe wasn't speaking well and didn't understood her. I think that's the shittiest thing of all. My sister's greatest pride is being able to pronounce some words no matter how short they are or if they sound like noise for some people. We understand her, but SM made her feel insecure every time she ignored her. I know that my sister always justified that by believing that it was her mistake and that SM made an effort to learn but it was simply more difficult for her but now we know that no, she was never interested in learning. I'm getting mad again as I write this sorry. My mother said she was going to talk to both of them. Mainly because even though it's an anonymous site, SM's way of expressing herself is sick and she's not going to let my siblings be around someone like that. Oh, but she's venting, being a stepmom is lonely, I received comments like that, it's not the same to say, I feel lonely and I feel stressed, than to say, my stepdaughter behaves like a slut, just because me and my minor sister uses a bikini for the pool. Her account is old, she's been leaving comments like that for years. With lies, with complaints we never heard before, it's just messed up. We arranged that we're going to tell our father all together and show him everything so we're probably going to tell him tomorrow because I need to leave to the academy on Monday. My SM account is not deleted, it's crazy how she makes things up to get approval from strangers. At this point I don't even know if she's crazy or a mythomaniac. I would like to go back to her email since the password is saved but I don't know if she will receive a notification of that because this time I closed the account. Update 3. We talked to my father over the weekend, for now he is staying at my mother's house. It is a complicated situation since in the middle of everything is my half sobbing too. During the weekend I went to my father's house and the first thing I did was tell my stepmom separately that I've seen her Reddit account and I'm going to talk about it with my dad. She told me that I can't condemn her for something she uses as an intimate diary but I told her that this is not a diary, it is a social network where she makes her problems and lies public. If someone other than me discovered her account then what was going to happen? Were they going to believe all the things she invented? If her identity was revealed on that account by someone else, would have too many problems and could even be kicked out of the academy. Again, there's a big difference between saying I'm stressed and my stepdaughters behave like sluts around their father. I simply told her that my mother and sister also know it and would come to talk about it too, she for obvious reasons just went to lock herself in her room not wanting to talk with me. Once we talked to my father I showed him most of the posts and comments, there were so many so many crazy comments that I think it would take me too long to read them all because they were just so long too, she's the kind of people who comments the bio of their lives in the posts of other people. My father got angry, my SM never expressed having a single problem with us like that, the situation would be different if we knew what she thinks about us. My father went to look for my SM who refused to talk about it and was mostly angry with me for violating her privacy. My father told her that she's insane for thinking that my sister and I sexually provoked him, that he can't believe the way she talks about my sister. And the happiness she expresses every time my sister goes to the hospital and is not home, how she expresses to be counting the days until my sibling stops going to the house forever. My father told her that she knew that he is a father and that he would never leave us aside, she made her decision and even so. Instead of talking about her problems she decided to create an account to play at being a victim. She said she needs a place to vent but he told her that venting is not the same as telling lies. Venting is not the same as hating your stepdaughters and talking horrible things about them and she could have spoken about it and not just lie. They argued a lot but it didn't get anywhere because she kept defending herself and my father only told her that it was over. My mother told my father that she is not going to let my sister and brother be around a woman who is clearly mentally unstable because no normal person thinks like that. After arguing too much and even trying to make make SM understand that what she did is wrong. She just justified herself all the time. My father went with us and told her that he is going to come back just to see my brother every day but that he no longer trusts her and never saw that side of her. She lied for so many years. Nothing really went as I expected because I expected her to be more mature. I think I at least hoped that she could apologize but I think she doesn't even think that what she did is wrong. In her mind everything was totally justified because being a stepmother is difficult but nothing justifies her being so cruel and poisonous. But yeah, that's what happened. I think it's hurtful. To know that someone can hide that much darkness inside, 
I wasn't too close with her, but I liked her, to the point of sharing my clothes and things with her so I also feel sad about it, mostly for my dad. Comment. Wow, just wow. You think you know someone and then one second, BAM. I am so sorry you and your family are dealing with this. The SM is off her rocker. Does she need constant attention and approval? She needs therapy and most likely the whole family because this is a traumatic event and major trust issues are now forming. Stay well, stay strong OP, comment. I'm happy that your father stood up for you all. I got kicked out of step parent Reddit because it was clear that some step parents were unhinged and hated their step kids with a passion. OP, yeah, I even had to delete the first post because I was told that someone had made a post in that sub to alert my SM.